Of course it is amazing to me to be able to bring artists like Maxine van Groff and the London Symphony Orchestra, Nicola Benedetti, Courtney Pine. These have all been amazing moments in Saffron Hall. One of my favourite concerts was when the BBC Concert Orchestra came near Christmas and they performed with the Choral Society and with children from the school choir. We discovered Together in Sound about a year ago and it's brought a new light into our life really. It's something we look forward to every week. And when we go, we meet lots of other people there who have similar circumstances to ourselves. And we get a lot back from it. For the students, Saffron Hall is the place they come for assemblies. It's a place that is very much part of their school. But they also know that in the evenings, at weekends, it becomes this amazing opportunity to watch some of the, the greatest artists in the world. It makes the school a very special school to be in. I think it's so special to have a hall like Saffron Hall within a school. It's incredible, really. If this had been in my school, I would have been constantly inspired and engaged with all kinds of music. For young people to have the opportunity to hear live music is absolutely essential and Saffron Hall creates just that opportunity. I've been a volunteer since it opened. One of the things I like best about being at Saffron Hall is there's a huge variety of things that we have to do. What I think we're really all about is trying to give our audience the, the best possible experience that they can have of coming to Saffron Hall. Everybody who comes here says what a wonderful time they've had. Saffron Hall is an opportunity. Having it linked so much to the school means that we can use it regularly for uh, rehearsals with uh, fish with score ensembles, but also um, ad hoc things. So say we do go on to do music, we have that experience. Souls in England to be our own school hall that we do some assemblies in um, is just fab dabby dozy. <laughs>